what's good everybody hope y'all doing well man we back at it again with some more my hero academia season five last episode we delved more into the past and we kind of saw the previous vestiges of one for all and we saw the first one for all user and his interactions with all for one and you know deku's just still trying to figure out exactly you know what's going on like his body his powers they're, they're starting to change and stuff like that he's starting to see things and you know we also saw more insight into endeavor and hawks's character i really enjoy that hawks is kind of playing both sides right now like you know he's chilling with the league of villains trying to learn as much information as he can and he's kind of you know these monologues that he's giving is just really interesting and in endeavor i'm really glad that they're focusing on endeavor i said this in the last episode that they're focusing more on his personal issues right now like because um, endeavor is a really compelling character i'm really interested to see because like right now he's trying to prove himself not only to the world but to his family like he's trying to rekindle the bonds within his family he's trying to you know you know he's trying to redeem himself you know he's trying to fix the broken bonds you know with, with his sons and his daughter and you know the wife and stuff like that you know it's really interesting to see that also i'm really excited for today's episode because it seems like we're actually starting to get into the tournament arc type of deal that they were promoting with all the trailers between class 1a and then you know class 1b and stuff like that so i'm really excited to see exactly the interactions between the two because like i said before like one of my favorite parts in all of my hero academia was the festival arc in season two i absolutely love that and it seems like it's kind of i don't know if it's gonna be the same type of deal but it definitely kind of gives me those vibes whenever i see the opening and i see the trailers and whatnot and also we get to see shinso again i already know that shinso is a special guest because they teased the fuck out of it in the trailer we even see him in the trailer we see him in the opening you guys can't fool me so yeah without further ado everybody i'm excited to get into this make sure to subscribe and hit that bell guys it's super easy it takes like one second of course you guys can always change your mind later also make sure to click that like button it really helps the board a lot but nonetheless let's get it it's still crazy that they left off on the same cliffhanger as season four bro like goddamn like you cannot give me the same cliffhanger again bro all for one <laughs> I fucking love Deku's uh Japanese voice actor, bro. Oh yeah, he palmed his face right here. Oh yeah, yeah. This is when like the one for all users like, yeah, yeah, you're barely at 20%. You know, this is all I can show you right now. So you're not alone. And then he breaks the glass. Yes, okay. Seeing this cliffhanger for the third time right now. <laughs> I am really curious about this though. I am really like I'm really excited to to go more in depth into that. Opening cue now. Yep, there it is. I love this opening, by the way. This opening does give me like peace sign vibes a lot. And peace sign is one of my favorite openings of uh and it might actually be my favorite opening in my hero academia. It depends, bro. There's a there's a lot of competitors, but this definitely does give me peace sign vibes and I love it. Alright, though, I'm ready. Let's get into this, bro. I'm trying to see both classes fight each other. Of course, I'm rooting for class 1A. Those are the homies right there. This man Deku working out. Taking a taking a smooth ass run early in the morning, huh? Oh my god. <laughs> this dude. How do you explain this? Like, yeah, dude, like <laughs> I kinda used my powers by accident. The moment our hands touch. Yeah, what happened? Oh! Oh, this is a cool shot. I like this a lot. Whenever they talk about this, they always put this eerie vibe, like this eerie ass music, and I'm really enjoying it a lot. Kinda gives me like a little bit of a psychological feel with talking about one for all. Hey, the, the homie All Might? Okay. Damn, so even All Might's kind of stumped right now. It's like, damn, you, you actually spoke with the first user of One For All. Damn, it's only happened to him. That's All Might's uh, teacher right there. Feelings always come forth before power. Hey, I'm digging the vibes right now, man. I am digging this. Damn, this man All Might was just deep in thought, bro. Okay, so All Might doesn't really know anything about the singularity thing either. That we will create more complex quirks someday. Okay, Todoroki is kind of a little bit of an example of that. How he's able to wield ice and fire. You are right, bruh! And you were kind of blurry too. Ooh! Interesting. <laughs> yo, Deku was like, yo, hey, yeah, yeah. Your sensei was kind of cute, bruh. Wow, the, the, the mood really switched up on us real quick. Yo, my man Shinso, okay. I, I low key, yo, okay. Hey, I don't know why I'm getting so hyped just seeing him right now, but hey, it's kind of dope. It's, it's really dope to see him, though. Damn, so we about to be fighting here, bro. All these all these goddamn pipes. Okay, yo, the drip, the winter outfits. Those look dope. Okay, Momo got that cape on. Bakugos, I gotta give it. Yo, Bakugos looks drippy as hell, bro. This man Bakugo never changes, bro. I love it. I love it how he's just, he, he, he's always just yelling at Midoriya, bro. <laughs> Yo, Uraka, her like eyebrow twitched as soon as they were talking about May. Oh wow, okay. 
Yo, Uraraka, yo, you better, you better, like, tighten the fuck up or else Megan is steal your mans. Okay, Class 1B about to show up, bro. And they really pulling up the whole squad, okay? They already talking shit, too. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's some people from Class 1B I like, but, like, no shot, bro, we're gonna lose against them. No shot. Kendo, I like. Tetsu, Togeke. Everyone was sipping over that girl in, like, the purple suit. And, of course, Monomo bitch ass always talking that smack, bro. Oh, brother, man. Two votes. Wow. This man is the pettiest dude ever. He's like, bro, we're better. We're better. We won by two votes, man. I'm surprised, too. I'm, I'm really surprised. Jiro, you did really good with that concert. How the fuck did they win? Thank Iso. Oh, my. Iso, thank God, bro. Thank God you shut this man up. Monoma, this dude be talking his ass off, man. Hey, bro, you can talk all he wants. He can talk about all he wants about the play being better than our goddamn concert that we put together. Hey, let's see you in the battlefield, though, bro. That, you ain't gonna be talking when I hit you with that goddamn Detroit smash to your jaw, right? You ain't gonna be talking all that shit. But, yo, okay, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't talk about this right now, but it was really interesting because one for all, uh, not one for all, sorry. When All Might was talking about one for all, right? He was like, he was kind of reassuring Deku to like, Deku, it's all right, like one for all, like you know, like it's it's you know, it's a, uh, it, it's our ally, bro. Don't worry, it's our ally. Which really, it's giving me kind of a creepy vibe whenever they talk about one for all, because I'm starting to think I'm like, there, there's so much more to it than we know right now. I feel like there's just so much more to it, dude. And I'm really curious about that. But okay, getting back into this, class one B. No shot they win against us. No shot, bro. I refuse. If we actually lose against them, I'd low-key be kind of pissed, bro. But, hey, I'm pretty sure Shinso is going to be on Class 1B's side. Monoma, please take this man out, like, instantaneously. Kendo, she's cool. She can stay, whatever the hell. But Monoma, he needs to go, bro. Here he comes, bro. Here he comes. That man Shinso pulled up. Hey, brother, what's good, dude? Shinso's a really cool design, too. I really like his power a lot. Oh, you're right. Those are Aizawa's binding claws. Oh, his goddamn finger is to break out of it. Uh, the days when Midoriya would break his bones, bro. I low-key kind of missed them. Who the fuck are these people, dude? Like, <laughs> what the hell? Shinso was low-key wholesome, you know, back in the day. That's kind of cool. The music? You hear this shit? Okay. Also, I do not remember Shinso's voice being this dope. <laughs> He's cold with it, though. I'll give him that. He's like, I'm not planning to be you guys' friends. You guys are just walls for me to overcome. Yo, everyone's clap is like, He's so cool. He's so cool. You see Midori? He's like, He's so cool, bro. No, that man Shinso is that that man Shinso is OD, bro. I like it. We're on each team. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's interesting. He gets to be on a class one A and class one B. That's dope. Uh, everyone's saying like, oh, he's inexperienced and whatnot. That dude, I already know he's about to clap some people up. Wait, let's see what these teams are real quick. We got okay. Suyu, Kaminari, Kirishima, and the dude that talks to the nature against the green hair girl with the vines and what? Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, Tokoyami, Invisible Girl, Momo, my dude with the goddamn naval beam, Kendo. Uh, dude, no shot we lose, bro. I mean, honestly, I don't, I'm not, I, I don't really remember a lot of these people from Class 1B, but I, I remember Kendo, but no shot, dude. No shot that we lose against this. Come on, guys. Okay, Tetsu, <laughs> Todoroki, Ida. Oh, no, no, that's, that's, that team's pretty stacked, bro. Our, our team is pretty stacked. Tetsu's basically just another Kirishima, too. <laughs> Bakuka. Okay, they got this girl. Every, everyone was simping over this girl, bro. But I'm, I'm just saying. Bakugo is on the team. Bakugo is not going to let us lose. I just got to say that right now. We got Jira on the team, too. Come the fuck on, bro. Deku. Oh, no. Ah, actually, no. Yes, yes. Monoma. Yo. Deku, please. This dude, please, Deku, please hit this man with some real ass shit, bro. Hit him with a Detroit, a fucking Delaware smash, a Manchester smash, the shoot style. Hit him with everything you got, bro. Please. They're, even his own team is looking at him like, really? We got this man on our team? So, but we got Deku, Uraraka, Mina, and goddamn Mina on our team. <laughs> pretty solid. Pretty solid. I mean, it's, it's I mean, we got, De it's, it's okay. It's, a, we got Mineta, but I don't know what the fuck that dude's supposed to do, but. Hey, this is a solid team. Oh, Shinso's on uh, Kirishima and Kaminari. So you team, okay? Oh, I mean, of course they had to be against this team because Deku has to fight him. Like, they teased in the opening. 
You know, Monoma, you know, he, he do be talking a lot of shit, but I gotta respect him. He is kind of funny. Yeah, right now, we don't gotta worry about that, dude. Right now, it's time. Bring out that goddamn full cowling. She said, where did you pull that out from? He pulled the goddamn journal out of his ass. It's actually improved the more, probably because they were able to cover that. Hey, fuck the grades. I don't care about the grades or whatever the hell. We got real experience, bro. Cliffhanger, they're gonna end it right now. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, we're actually... Oh, honestly, I'm surprised. I thought they were gonna end it before we even started. Oh, yeah, the girl with the vines and whatnot. Come on, Ari, come on, brother. Hey, we learned from that, though, right? Bones, what is this shot right here? You... Nah, y'all ain't... Y'all ain't slick with it, bruh. Y'all ain't slick with shit, bruh. Y'all ain't slick with shit, dude. Y'all really put a close-up ass shot of Suyu when she's invisible, bruh. Hey, I see, I see you guys. I see you guys. I, I see it all. The birds, bruh. Nature, our friend. Oh, God damn, okay. Kirishima, we, you know, we teamed up with Fat Gum, bruh. This dude should be nothing, man. We took on Overhaul and his goons, bruh. This man is really telling us the whole plan right now. Oh, wow, okay. That's actually kind of cool. It's time. It's time, dude. Oh. Did it work? He pulled out the brainwash already? <clears throat> oh! What? Persona chords? Yo, Shinzo? Yo, that shit was dope as fuck. He talked with the other dude's voice. I was like, what? Okay, Shinzo. That dude is dope as Shinzo, this dude is cold with it. This dude is too clean with it, man. We got a little tease, though, of, you know, the fights that are going to go on. That was cool. Shinzo, he already caring right now, bro. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and see this preview though real quick. Damn, they're basically just fleshing like Shinzo is gonna carry this fight right now, bro. Interesting, man. Okay, dude. Ah, I really have to wait, dude. Damn. I actually didn't know that. I thought Shinzo was just gonna be on class 1B side, but it makes it a little bit more interesting that he's interacting with um, class 1A as well. I really like that a lot. But really fun and entertaining episode. I really like this a lot. It really gave me those... It really gave me like that classic MHA feel, like those season one slash two vibes. Like I said before, this, you know, class 1A versus 1B arc is kind of giving me like the festival arc vibes where, you know, just students versus students against each other. You know, the stakes are kind of low right now. They're just, they're kind of just chilling. I don't know. It's really enjoyable. I'm really having fun, but I am, I really enjoying the whole like vestiges and one for all talk. Like, like th whenever those parts come on, like I am like, incredibly just invested in learning about that but yeah everybody really fun episode i'm excited to continue this arc that man shinzo about to show up and i feel like in this arc dude like that dude he's already cool as fuck dude i don't even remember him like being this cool but his voice is cool his new persona chord thing is dope as hell so yeah man um shinzo that man is clean with it. But yeah, everybody, hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell before you head out. Super easy. Takes like one second. Of course, you guys can always change your mind later. Also, make sure to click that like button as well. It really helps the board a lot. But nonetheless, it's been your boy, Ivory, and I'm out. Peace. <laughs>